come to the next episode of In the Kitchen, see? I see this week, we're not in the only for a long talk. You know what I mean? No long talking, because you know who we have tonight in the house, my brother. You know who we have the drifters, man. You know about that? Foundation. In the kitchen. So you want to know? As you know already, I'm marinated already. Everything look nice. Look at this. Look how pretty this thing. Marinated already in a Guinness. And that will serve with a Guinness glaze. With a nice Guinness glaze. And this marinated already will look real good. Alright? Alright, I'll show you what I'm going on. So I'm going to take my oil, the virgin oil. I'm going to skin it nice and hot. Make it nice and hot. Looking good. I'm going to go for some of my Get some flavor before we drop anything in. Alright, and then we'll take the stick. Looking real good. Well marinated already. Well marinated. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Wanna we'll get some nice char, get a nice skull on him. I'm gonna take a little bit of McGinnis. A little bit of McGinnis. As you know already, but don't put it for marinade already. You want to get some of the flavor in. Nice. Let us serve it right over some pumpkin rice and some sake and veg. Real simple. Guinness and sugar. And leave them there, make them stick. Take them one at a time and reduce them. It's gonna stay there and it's gonna boil, it's gonna come to a boil and it's gonna reduce down then I'm gonna have my raisin. After I have the raisin, ah uh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. The drifters, give us a little history about the drifters. When did it all begin? Well the drifters began in 1953 with Clyde McFadder. Uh, and um, uh, they lasted from 1953 to 1958. And then uh, uh, the Atlantic Rex, George Treadwell, was the manager of the drifters at that time, the Treadwell, Treadwell family. And uh, he hired a new group of drifters. And that was Benny King, Charlie Thomas, Ruby Lewis, Johnny Moore. And uh, I came in later myself. I replaced Ruby Lewis when Ruby passed away. A lot of group come and a lot of group disappear after yeah, after a while. Yeah, yeah. Right? What's the remedy for the drifters, these drifters here? We're just happy doing what we do. And yeah. We still enjoy it. So if we enjoy it, we yes. should continue to do such. We don't smoke, we don't drink, <laughs> and we remember where we came from. And okay. you know, I always have a motto, there's no big eyes and no ears. We're all the same. All the same. One thing about the secret of the success of this group, uh, of course, legendary. Shepherd, Drifters, is the music and the people because you see this music can take you to a place, a person at a time and when you can do that, you win and that's what the people love. They want to hear music that will take them back to the days when things were very simple. When they had their first kid, when they first met their wife, those are the most important. It's really all about the songwriting. The songs are, are timeless. They, they talk about love and growing up and problems you have in a very simple, direct way that's missing in a lot of today's music. And I think that's what uh, our audiences are responding to. Walk. 
We'll be falling in love on the boardwalk. What boardwalk? Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Now this bad boy is ready. Ready for planning. Ready for planning. So here I'm gonna do now. Take my pumpkin. Real nice. Put him on the plate. That's what I'm talking about. Real nice. Ah, a little bit of red pepper, green pepper. Candied almonds. And then I'm gonna take my rice. I'm gonna put my rice right on the side. Just like that. And my steak. Guinness razor sauce. Let that run right off the side. Alright, you know which part you're there, you're there in at the kitchen. And that's how we do it. Another week again inside BB King. The drifters. Don't get it twisted. Come chat with me. <laughs>